Kora and Bulwinaka. Welcome everybody to our Web Hui series. Uh, today's topic is on our flagship program, the Home Safety Program. Uh, you might know me as the person who normally introduces our presenters, but today I'm privileged enough to do uh, to be doing the presentation myself. Uh, Bulwinaka, my name is Laura Wangubitu. I am the Community Engagement Advisor here at Safe Kids Aotearoa. I've been here now for two years. I'm really enjoying the role, really enjoying the kaupapa, and really privileged to be working here at Safe Kids Aotearoa. Um, yeah, I guess we'll get straight into it. So feel free if you have any questions throughout the presentation to put it into the chat, and we can answer them together at the end of the session as always. All right. Oh, let's hope my slides work for me. So a little bit about us here at Safe Kids Aotearoa. We are a service of Starship uh, Hospital. We were established in the 90s by the Starship Trauma Service Team to help reduce some of the high rates of preventable injuries. We are also funded by the Ministry of Health. Uh, we're also part of a worldwide uh, Safe Kids network that's based out in Washington, DC. And our focus is for Tamariki age zero to 14. So in this presentation, you will see some of the data that we also have, just a snapshot of uh, national data and some of the stuff behind why we picked a home safety program. Uh, for this data, it's uh, based on hospitalization for 24 hours or more of our Tamariki. So home injuries, so we know that we spend 70% of our lives in our home, um, which is quite a lot of time when you think about it, especially when you think about Tamariki and the time they spent in home as well. And when we're talking about the home itself, we're talking about the front yard, right to the backyard, the driveway and inside the home as, as well. So that's what we categorize as the boundaries of a home. So here we're looking at the All Home Injury National data so that uh, we know in the, la in the data set from 2013 to 2017. Oh, I've raised hands. Sorry, I'm just saying, did we have raised hands? Again, feel free to put your questions in the chat and then I can come to them at the end. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, between our data set, the 2013 to 2017 data, we know that 185 deaths occurred um, of in the home, and of that, 88% were our zero to four year olds. And for hospitalizations, we know that over 12,000 um, were hospitalized between 2015 to 2019, and 56% of this are our zero to four year olds. So we can already start seeing who are the most at risk. So we know that when it comes to unintentional injury, it's the third leading cause of death. And this is behind SUDI, which is the second, and first being the medical issues. We know that 60% of injuries that lead to hospitalization happen in the home environment. Uh, we also know where there's high financial hardship, uh, in, in, it increases the uh, risk of unintentional injury as well. And we also know that our Māori and Pacific whānau are the ones that are most at risk here, overrepresented in the data as well. So looking at it from by area, we can see that again, it's our at home area that is where most injuries are happening. Uh, we can see here again that in the dark blue, it's our zero to four year olds that are the most at risk. Um, and then followed by unspecified places, schools and sports area. So we know again, zero to four year olds are the most at risk, but we know that falls is the leading cause of unintentional injury, followed by inanimate mechanical forces, then by poisons, and then by fire and hot object or substances. So when it comes to our inanimate mechanical forces, so these are things like furniture falling onto our tamariki, TVs, um, also cuts and piercing, uh, also tamariki running into glass as well, can be covered under inanimate and animate mechanical forces. 
So this is the ethnicity breakdown. So this covers hospitalization per 100,000. We can see here that our Pacific Tamariki, uh, the ones being hospitalized the most, followed by our Maori Tamariki, our European Tamariki, and then our Asian Tamariki. So this kind of gives uh, a snapshot on why we prioritize our Pacific and Maori, Maori whanau in the home safety program, because again, we see inequities and they're the whanaus that are at risk the most. So that brings us into our home safety program itself. So our home safety, our home safety program is our national flagship program. Uh, it's, we have partners right across the Motu. It was established in 2016 and is currently still ongoing. But for the purpose of this presentation, we're covering the results from 2016 to 2020. Um, so this is in partnership with ACC. We just want to mihi to ACC and thank them for continuing this partnership and continuing to support this kaupapa, this really important kaupapa for us. So what I'll do is I'll cover it off in six key components of the home safety program, along with its results. So our approach, so these are the six key components that we have in our home safety program. So we had the home safety whare, the home safety toolkits, the app that we created called Whare Kahika, home safety app, we had the national workshops and wānangas that we created, and we also had a web, uh, webinar series in collaboration, which quite a few of you would have uh, been a part of and seen as well, as well as our home safety device assessment and education program. So kicking us off is our home safety device program. So this is broken down into four sections. Uh, it has the component of an assessment, uh, we give education, we also offer safety devices, and through this program we were able to reach close to 6,000 whānau between 2016 to 2020. So the way that our home safety device program works, we partnered with 27 organisations during the 2016 to 2020 period. Um, these partners work in whānau homes. They were able to take our assessment into the whānau home and assess if any whānau had any risks um, for unintentional injury and were able to supply some of the free devices that we have to the whānau of no cost to them. Um, along with the free devices, we offered educational pieces. So with these educational pieces, it wasn't a let's tell them what to do, but more of a talano and quarter also. We gave them the key messages and they went and had that conversation. And it was an open and honest conversation where Fano can also feedback some of their knowledge to it as well. So what are the free devices that we offered? So these are the free devices that we offered to Fano. Uh, so there were TV anchor locks, smoke alarms, glass stickers, driveway runover stickers, window stays. So we offered the wooden uh, window stay and for aluminum window stays. We offered fire guards, which were really hit, a big hit for our regions. Uh, we offered thermometers. So with these thermometers, it wasn't necessarily for the Fano, but for the Fano, uh, the kaimahi, the community worker that would go in and they can use the thermometer to actually test how hot the water was at the tap for the Fano. Because again, we advocate for it to be between 50 to 55 degrees and anything higher can be quite a hazard for our tamariki. We offered bath mats, uh, cabinet slide and locks, adjustable multi-purpose straps, cabinet push and snaps, finger pinch guards, outlet plugs, safety gates, um, safety gate extensions, furniture straps, and also blind cords. So I just wanna mihi to our 27 home safety program partners. Um, it's really important for us wherever we go, where we present home safety uh, data or presentations that we also mihi the partners because they're the ones that are on the grounds engaging with our whānau, doing the mahi, um, and also keeping our whānau safe. So these are the 27 partners that we had and continue to have. Uh, te Runanga o Te Rarawa, 
te hau ora o Ngāpuhi, Ngāti Hine Health Trust, te Uri Aho, Waitamata Planket, Starship Community, Anglican Trust for Women and Children, so that's ATWC, uh, Max Care Medical, Otara Healthcare, Tūriki Healthcare, Family Success Matters, Whare Ora Healthy Homes, Te Runanga o Kirikiri Roa, South Waikato Pacific Island Community Services, so SWIFX, uh, Te Maranui Kokiri Trust, Te Manu Torua, Sustainability Options, Kahununu Executive, Child Healthy Home uh, Housing Program, Western Heights, Tufari Toa Health, Te Oranganui, Planket Palmerston North, Wow Homes, Naku Ine Tamariki Incorporated, uh, St. John of God, Waipuna, and Planket Tauranga. So some of them are actually watching this presentation. So mihi to you and your team, and thank you for being our partners. So here are some of the outcomes. Um, we identified with uh, those just close to 6,000 whānau, 87 of them identified as Māori and Pacific ethnicities. Uh, we completed 94 interventions. 85% uh, of Fano rated they had um, increased their what they've learned about home safety. Uh, Fano rating of likelihood to share information was also at 80%. Um, and when we started in 2016, we started with five partners. And by 2020, we finished with 27 partners. So we're really stoked with that. So the next element is our home safety fare. So the home safety fare was an inter interactive home um, with that covered nine major injury risk areas. Uh, the exhibition was an uh, experience that was led by the audience through education material and our home safety messaging through the play and immersive activities. So it was this not life-size, but quite big house where Fana were able to walk through the house, interact with the walls. Um, it had key messages, it had screens that Fanos could engage with. And again, it was a massive hit because it, it brought to life some of those key messages. So some of the evaluations and outcomes. So we had just over 13,000 Fana go through the fare. Uh, we took it across 15 DHBs uh, with over 36 events. Um, of that survey, 96 uh, visitors, 96% of the visitors intended to make changes and improvement to uh, tamariki safety in their home. 83% uh, shared uh, some of that home safety information that they learnt from the fare, and also 30% actually went home and did a safety check of their fare as well to see how safe it was. So that was a really great success. And that was between 2017 and 2019 where we had that fare going around. So the next uh, component was our home safety toolkits. So these were designed to uh, extend the community engagement and learning opportunities, uh, offered this to uh, community organizations as a more flexible way to communicate our key messages. All of these uh, say, uh, toolkits were interactive activities and they covered off five key unintentional injuries. So the toolkits themselves covered off the traumatic brain injury. So they were able to create brain molds, um, brain in a jar, Sorry, I'm just going to close the window. <laughs> My apologies. Uh, it's a good time to garden here in Auckland while the weather's still good before it starts raining again. So we had uh, five key uh, toolkits um, that covered five key unintentional injuries. So we had the traumatic brain injury uh, toolkit, which created... Uh, a life-size uh, jelly mold of a brain. So somebody can kind of touch it and feel how sensitive the brain is. And we also had molds where they could, uh, Kamahi could create the, the jelly brain in a smaller version and put it in a jar and kind of show how a traumatic brain injury could happen if a child was to fall and what the skull is doing um, and the brain is doing inside the skull. We had the button battery kits. We had the a choking hazard kit, and we had a poisons game. So the poisons game has been quite a hit with Tamariki being able to look at certain items that look like food, but could be actual poison, um, as well as 
other, uh, like the, sorry, the um, button battery kit also had uh, batteries in it and people would just need to get the ham and then they could recreate what, a, what was happening to the throat when a button battery uh, is swallowed by a child. So that was quite important for us to bring to life some of the conversation our kaimahi were having in the home and could also have it in bigger groups I mean, people could interact with those conversations as well. We also had the top 10 unintentional reference cards. So this was something that Kaimahi could take with them. It covered off the top 10 unintentional injuries in the home and also some of the key messages uh, where the risks were happening and some of the data as well. So the next element was our app, which was called Farikaika Home Safety. So this is based off the home safety checklist. Uh, we launched this in December 10th, 2020. Uh, it offered locations to purchase items, uh, devices and products that the whanau might need to reduce some of the risks in their home. It was also designed to help some of our community providers to be able to go in the home and, and do a quick checklist of what might be some of the risks and how they can uh, mitigate some of that. It's also translated into te reo Māori um, at the moment, and hopefully it will be translated uh, into some of our Pacific languages as well. So the aim behind this was to have at least 500 downloads we were able to smash that and get over 2,000 downloads for this app. Um, also a side plug, it is still available on Apple Store as well as Google Play if you'd like to download it. Uh, I like to quickly put that plug in there. So our national workshops and wanangas, so we provided 30 workshops a year. Uh, we also provided seven traumatic brain injury wanangas in 2020. Um, so again, these are to support our community workers in injury prevention roles. They're interactive workshops. Um, again, with the home safety, this was to keep um, refreshing our kaimahi in the home safety space. And we also did a regional focus. So wherever we were um, going to, uh, we would make sure that the data was specific for that region so that the kaimahi can see what are some of the uh, top injuries that are happening in their region. So now we will go into the evaluation and outcomes. So of those um, that attended, 94%, 94 gave a positive rating. Uh, we also wanted to know how much of those that were attending and who were they working with in the community. And we can see here that 53% 50, of them work with Pacific Fano and 69% work with Maru Fano, so which was really good for us. Uh, so this covers our next section, which is our webinar series. We had 10 webinars um, through this period. Five were covered under home safety topics. So these were your poisons, your driveway runovers, falls um, and other topics. And then we had five collaboration pieces with others in the unintentional injury prevention space with us. So Hapai Te Water, we did it with uh, Auckland Drowning Prevention um, and a few others as well. So we're to now. Uh, so currently what we're working on with the home safety program, uh, we're currently working on translating the Farikahika app into Samoan and Tongan languages. So that will be launched shortly. Our national workshops in Wananga still continue. We've digitalized them now. So um, those can remotely sign into those. And if you're interested in our Wananga, our traumatic brain Wananga, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to uh, let you know when the next workshops and wānangas are. Uh, our webinar series collaborations still continue. As you can tell, we've had a few uh, with AT Transport so far. We've had some with our own kaimahi here at Safe Kids Aotearoa as well. Um, and with our home safety device assessment and education. So the home safety assessment still continues. Uh, we've created some extra pieces to that uh, with the feedback from our previous years. So just making sure that some of the processes are a bit more smoother for our partners based on the feedback that they've given us. 
uh, resources for kaimahi. Again, we're always constantly working on resources for our kaimahi to make sure that they're empowered. Um, one of the pieces that we're currently working on is the residency, uh, resident RTA, Residency Tenancy Act, um, with the new changes to the act around uh, uh, home safety in terms of being able to uh, adjust some of the home uh, home safety itself. I wouldn't be a presentation if I didn't do a quick few plugs for Safe Kids Aotearoa. So we have a Facebook page um, that has a lot of great content, uh, videos, key messages that uh, Kaimahi might be interested in, and also that you could share with your team or your audience as well. We have our Instagram page. We also have a YouTube channel. So our YouTube channel covers off all of our web hoes that we've had. And also some of that great content can be found in our YouTube channel. And then we also have our website, the Starship uh, Safe Kids Injury Prevention website. And this is where all our key messages are kept, uh, where our contacts are kept. If you want to reach out to any of us or the team, um, that's the best place to come to. Awesome. So that brings me uh, to the end of our presentation. If anyone has any questions, I'd like to keep it sharp here. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions. Yes, awesome, Rangi Mari. Um, workshops are currently being um, finalized. So these two workshops, as I mentioned, we have our home safety workshop that will be digitalized as well. Uh, and our traumatic brain injury workshop, which uh, Wananga, which is currently um, in the process at the moment. So I can, I'm happy to send out those details uh, for the workshops, the home safety workshop, as well as the Wananga uh, when I send these slides out. It's awesome to hear that quite a few people are quite interested in the home safety uh, workshop. So the home safety workshop covers off um, our key unintentional injuries, it covers off the regional data. So each workshop will be designated to a region. So um, you can attend which region you'd like to hear about. That's how those workshops will work. And again, we'll cover off key messages in those home safety workshops as well. So it's always good to have you and your team join in um, as well. Um, no worries, everybody. Anyone have any other questions for me? What I'll do is I'll put my email into the chat here. And then if anybody has any questions for me um, or would like to just get in touch for us to catch up or report it all, I'm always happy to uh, set up a meeting and get to know uh, get to know you guys better and the mahi that you do for your community. Always keen to learn and listen um, in, in that sense. Um, let me just can see a hand raise. Is it Pet? Uh, Pet, I see your hand is raised. Did you have a question? Yes, the app is available to download. It's a free download um, for you. It's a great app because it, it asks you questions specifically for rooms in the Fano home. So the living room is covered, the bedrooms are covered, the kitchen and laundry are covered, um, as well as the outdoor area as well. So it's a great starting point in terms of getting that conversation started with Fano around home safety. Um, and, and they can also download it on their phone. So if they're a bit stuck and want to go back to those key messages, the home safety app, um, Farikahika, has those uh, messages already installed in there. So they can always go back to that as a reference. And same with our Kaimahi. It's, it's a space that you can go back and refresh as well. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Amanda. That's really good to hear um, that you're using the app. 
Yes, and it's really useful to guide some of those conversations as well. Um, if you're in the home, you can just quickly whip it out and start that, that assessment with the Fano. And as you're going through, you can have that corridor around some of the topics like poisons or, you know, um, falls. Uh, yeah, so those are some of the key uh, advantages of having that app that you can just quickly get to those key messages quickly. Yes, of course, feel free to promote the app um, in schools, uh, in, in, any other in any other spaces that you feel it would benefit the whānau or the people that you are engaging with. Uh, the app is a really good tool to, to start that corridor around home safety. Um, and if you need any support, again, feel free to reach out to us. We're always happy to engage um, and find a way to work together to you know help our communities that's what we're here for and we're always happy to support any co-papa is there any other questions yes um pete is it pet apologies if i'm saying your name wrong yes so uh we are doing them digitally um and yes why do we think yeah, so all the uh, the home safety workshop is online, so you're more than welcome to join us in that session. Um, if you would like to give me an email, I can uh, tell you which and which area you're from, and I can tell you which uh, workshop would be the best session for you to join into uh, for, for the home safety workshop. Any other questions for me? Again, my email is there. If you just want to drop me a line saying hello, I'm always happy to take those emails as well. Um, and we can have it all around some of these topics as well. Okay, well, if no one has any other questions for me, um, I will close us off with karakia. I'm not sure if you can hear the... Uh, lawns being mowed but I feel like it might be a competition at this morning to see who can be louder so I will close us off with karakia unuhia 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 ki te uru tapunui ki a wātea ki a māma te nākau te tīnana te wairua e te aratangata koia rā e rongo whakairia ake ki ronga ki a tīna tīna huie tāiki e ki ora ka ki te um is there any notices? There's another, there actually is a notice. Uh, the next uh, next web hui coming up is around Maramataka. So keep an eye out for that session. Uh, it will be Tuesday the, let me just double check my calendar, the 29th, I believe. Tuesday the 29th. So that will be our, our next uh our next web hui, Tuesday the 29th, and it'll be in the afternoon. Um, I'll put it back in the email, Joanne. Thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, have a great rest of the day. Ka kite.